Steven Stonebreaker, TakedownWrestling.com. Here I am with head coach, Michigan State Spartans, in his last season. Coach, you've been at Michigan State a really long time. Talk about some of your favorite moments, some of your favorite wrestlers on your team. Well, I have been there since 1991, so it's a quarter of a century now. But uh, seriously, I've enjoyed I've enjoyed it from beginning beginning to now. I mean, uh, and uh, you know, you, you have. Of course, those wrestlers who really have you know, careers that really stand out, Franklin Gomez in particular, who's just won, won the Pan Am Games, or, you know, uh, uh, and uh, you know, was a national champion for us. But, but honestly, there are just countless other young men who, who uh, have, have made an impact in our program, not only from the wrestling side, but what they've done academically, what they've done personally, and, and, uh, and the careers that they're into now. And, and that, uh, that, to me, is almost as rewarding as anything, because uh, really, uh, you know, what you do in, through the sport of wrestling, as you, as you know, is that you, you, know, you teach discipline, you teach commitment, you teach handling success, you teach handling failure. And, and the young men usually come out of uh, come out of wrestling with, uh, with a, a, a much bigger knowledge of themselves and, and what it takes to be successful in, in life as well as wrestling. Now, in your final year here, you're moving on 141 pounder Javier Gasca, and he has your best shot at being an All American this year. What would that mean for the Spartan program to get him on the award stand in New York? Well, you know, I, I think we would all love that, but largely because he is such a committed young man. He works exceptionally hard. He's a great athlete. He's a good student. You know, he's really what you want in a student athlete. So, you know, it, it would mean a lot to us for him, you know, to, to be able to, to be an All-American. He, he's an outstanding young man and a great represent, representative of not only our program, but his family. And, we're enormously proud of it. Final question, Coach. There is life after wrestling. What is that life for Coach Tom Minkle? Well, uh, my degree in, in, in college, I went, I went to grad school in, in math and statistics, and, uh, uh, and my hobby for the last 20 years has been playing poker. And I played in the World Series, and, and I intend to play professionally starting July 1. So uh, it's one of those things that, you know, it's been on my, my, my list for a long time. I, I, was, I played in a rock and roll band with my wife uh, after college, and then, uh, you know, of course, got into wrestling and coaching. And, and, uh, but, Real quick but here, I have, is, uh, I have heard your music. I love it. <laughs> so, so anyway, but that's, uh, you know, so the next, the, that's the next chapter, and it, it has all the same elements that wrestling does. It's making good decisions under pressure. It's keeping your composure when things go bad. Being you know rested when your opponents are tired, being sober when they've been drinking, and, and uh, so I'm looking forward to being the competitor instead of the coach for a while. Well, Coach Minkle, I want to thank you for your time. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thanks.